And if you plan on shooting your family, make sure that you want to use at least two to three recognizable faces. Those are people who are, like, who are in the television, who are in, uh, in the successful. Ne Netflix is pretty big now. We have like a pretty big uh, follow on Netflix. And one of the things casting agents, I want to say now, is if you talk to any casting agents or, or any agents, is that they're going to, if you're an actor, if you're a producer, they're going to want, uh, they're looking for actors who have a large social media following. So if you have, they would take a large social media following, or uh, somebody within, like who has, who has a million followers, then somebody who has a lot of experience, or somebody who has like uh, uh, just raw talent. Because the reason why they do that is the simple fact is that they don't want to spend a lot of money on marketing. So that makes their job a lot more easier when it comes to uh, just getting distribution. So if you look into a uh, cast a film, look for people who have, you know, actors who have, or even, uh, unfortunately, reality TV stars who have a large Facebook following or a large uh, Instagram following. You can cast those people in some, some roles. But when you're doing your film, you want to at least get two to three recognizable names. But you have to also make sure those names that you get, right, that you don't want to spend too much on those actors. So what you can do is, say for instance, if you want Denzel Washington, just use it for an example. What you want to do is you want to call up his agent and see what he was paid, maybe $20 million. But, you know, just use him as an example. See what he was paid on his last film. You may want to match that. But you know, if you have you get Denzel for a five million or ten million that you're gonna sell your film for thirty to forty million, so you're gonna have a uh, return on your on your investment, and your investors are gonna be happy. You see what I'm saying? Is that, does that answer your question? So with, once you once you have get your actors, and what you wanna do, you have so many different platforms now. You have Netflix, which is which is paying money for films. You have Hulu. You have Amazon. You have Lifetime. You have stars, you have BT, you have TV, you have so many, you have WeTV, so many different uh, uh, networks and so many different platforms now, and everybody's looking for content. Everybody's looking for the, the next This Is Us, or, you know, or the next Stranger Things. Everybody's, everybody's looking for these great shows or these great, these next uh, great films because it's a competition. You know, so if you have something that's, that's very hot, you know, then if you want to have like a mini war for it, uh, between your Netflix and your Lifetime and, you know, different uh, uh, networks and uh, platforms like that.